Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this is a reading for the 21st of September 2020 and this reading is dedicated especially for my dear friends Pisces. Now, that being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and the rest of it, just leave it aside. If it doesn't feel right, then most likely it is simply not meant for you. And that is okay. Um, that being said, if you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romanceviltarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, send you the different type of readings that I can send out to you so you can find those answers that you're looking for. Sometimes people just don't want to tell us the answers and sometimes we're just doubting, sometimes we're just looking for some guidance. So please do contact me so I can help you out with that. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated. So what I've done here is this is a message for the sign of Pisces. I'm using a blind spot so I'm going to try and go and find out what it is that your subconscious is trying to pass through actions unconsciously in your love life. So this is the uh, your true needs in your love life but seen by your unconscious. And I'm going to finish it up over here with a James Van Prague, The Power of Love. So with no further ado, let's begin. So this is your sigil for today. And this is all about enabling. Now, you think that you're helping someone or doing what is right in the situation at hand when, in fact, you are merely acting as an, an enabler. Enablers prevent other people from expansion and they also prevent their own. It is natural to want to help people and to want to uh, validate people, even at a self-serving level. Helpful people are validating themselves by bringing them closer and makes them want us more. Now, enabling is empowering up until the point where what we're enabling is not actually in the best interest of that person that we're enabling. When we do this, we do not help someone because we are perpetu perpetuating rather than solving a problem in their life. Now, some examples of enabling may include the following scenarios, validating someone's opinion even when it's not a reflection of reality. Um, it could be causing themselves, you know, some, 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 some harm, but it could be psychologically, it could be physically. Allowing a child to stay home from school because he or she has not studied for a test while well, calling in sick to someone's workplace if they are hungover from drinking too much alcohol. Now, enabling... No, what, what I want to say first is more... What I want to say right before, I want to say something that's really important before I do forget, okay? Talking about these type of, of examples here, I want to say that lying to someone to cover up someone else's lies is a irresponsibility and pay paying overdue bills for someone who gambles money away same thing making excuses for someone's terrible treatment of another one same thing okay enabling is helping or alliance that instead of actually helping or being good to someone acts to prevent their expansion their awareness and their well-being some people habitually enable things that are not actually good for someone. This is because their self-esteem is dependent on their ability and willingness to help in general. Also, their feelings of being wanted and undisposable to someone, but they are willing to get that self-esteem and the guarantee of never being abandoned by helping in ways that destroy the other person and it just makes it worse. Now when anyone enables something that is not actually in the best interest of the person, they are intent on helping, especially when they remove the natural consequences that that person's behavior. The enabler also takes away any awareness that person may need, any motivation to change and any motivation to take responsibility for what isn't serving the best interest of themselves or others. 
In this situation, are you ignoring or explaining away unacceptable behavior? Are you resenting the responsibilities you have taken on that should be someone else's? Are you constantly putting down your needs and desires aside in order to help someone else? Are you validating someone's perspective as right and good that you know is not right and is not good? Are you not expressing your own true value, your opinions, your emotions in favor of avoiding conflict and fear of abandonment? Do you fear that not continuing to able what you wish you did not have to enable would result in a consequence that you can't face? Are you lying or making excuses to cover up someone else's mistake? Are you seeing and defending the vulnerable and wounded part of someone when you can clearly see that this vulnerability is behind their tyrannical and abusive behavior? Are you consistently assigning blame for problems to other people rather than the one that's really responsible, especially to those who feel they're strong enough to handle it. This sigil is asking you to see that in this situation, you are enabling someone in a way that is leading to that person's lack of awareness. This empowerment and inhibited personal expansion, it is preventing their long-term and well-being happiness. That person you're enabling might be someone else and that person may be yourself. Now, the question is, how are you enabling and why are you doing this? And that is how I'm going to end this blind spot for you with a question to think about. So that being said, this is your uh, fantastic blind spot for your true needs in your relationship. It's all about enabling. As for the uh, James Van Prague, let's go see what James Van Prague has to say to you. This is all about well, it's a little bit, it goes with the enabling. It's about gratitude. So gratitude is you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. When you live in gratitude, you are acknowledging to the universe that you appreciate for every event that occurs in your life. Be thankful for each experience, whether you label it as good or bad, because without it, you would not evolve. Granted, heartbreaking things happen in this physical dimension, but... I do have to say, if you look upon them as lessons to learn, as opposed to misfortunes inflicted on you, you glimpse the bigger picture. Everything can be a gift, and as you consciously experience gratitude, you are mindful that even the simplest aspects of your life are wondrous and miraculous. With this outlook, your focus is placed on abundance, abundance of the consciousness, not on a lack. And as you acknowledge source energy, you expand your awareness and come to realize that you are part of something much, much larger than yourself and that every moment is oh so precious. So that being said, I do wish you a fantastic day. Thank you so very much for being there. If you do have any questions, you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Have a great day. Thank you for being there. I hope you will apply what I have given you as a message and I'll be seeing you with another reading in just a few moments. Have a great day.